Even the dog knows it. When the Englishman comes to call, what should I wear? Sure of yourself, aren't you? The blue one with the décolleté. Or perhaps the red one. Not jesting with her immortal soul. That's why we keep you, Pujardov. Our immortal souls are your concern. She's afraid of something. Tell me, Pujardo. Yes? Which do you think I should wear for the Englishman? The red or the blue? Enough. I forbid you to talk this way. You forbid? Give me your excellency. My concern for the spiritual welfare of the countess, I forgot myself. I will pray for humility. Pray hard, Pujardov, or you'll find yourself praying for a job, too. Well, father, The piece I was playing. I wonder who it is. One of you might know what happened to the baggage man. I haven't the remotest idea. What about you? Perhaps it had something to do with what's inside that crate. I agree with you. He was trying to open it when something happened. What? Fortunately, he was interrupted. Yes. By whom? Why are you so worried about it being opened? It, it, it may be my fault. I asked the baggage man to take a look. I was curious. It was no concern of yours. Or of yours. One man dead, another missing. It's time we open this box. You will do no such thing. Give me the key. with that. in there. I told you, a fossil, part ape, part man. It lived two million years ago. Are you telling me that an ape that lived two million years ago got out of that crate, killed the baggage man and put him in there, then locked everything up neat and tidy and got away? Yes, I am. It's alive. It must be. Lock him up. We'll search the train and find it, whatever it is, and destroy it. But if it's alive... I want this kept quiet. 
I don't want to panic the passengers. 